Hello and welcome to one of our how-to videos. Today's video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the CCTV systems that we sell. Just a, a basic overview, how to log in, how to play it back, um, how to back it up and some of the Zoom features as well. So what you see here is obviously we've got a camera up. In the top right hand corner you see the time and the date. They will flicker the letter and the numbers will flicker to black as well. It just tries to, to stand out from the background. So you might see the letter and change into black sometimes. Sometimes it's in white. The top right, you'll see the record symbol. That's fine, it just basically means it's recording. And down at the bottom right hand corner is the name of the camera. As you can see, the L is actually in white at the very end there, the rest is in black. So for some reason it thinks that you would see it better in black apart from the L which has changed to white. So to log into your machine, what you want to, in fact, before we go into logging into the machine, if you want to view your cameras, you can do them in different splits. So double click your mouse, you'll see me here on the, the top left corner. To view one of the other cameras, so the top right one, you double click it with the left side of the mouse. Double click, takes you back, double click. Double click, double click. Okay. Other splits you can get as well, I'll show you. So what you want to do is we're going to log into the machine to do this next part. So depending on the setup that you have, it'll either ask you for your pattern or your password. So if you had a password, just say it was 1234, you would write 1234, click enter and then log in. Well, in this video, I'm going to use my pattern. So I'm going to log in, right click, left click your mouse, draw the pattern pattern that you have, and let the mouse go, and I'll automatically log in. So the different splits we were just talking about there. So you can have down at the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a split. So you see a one split. There's me. You can also get a four way split. A one and a five, one and a seven, really just depends how many cameras that you have. Okay, and there is more, just really depends how big your machine is, like I say. Okay, now on the picture here, down the bottom, you see a wee toolbar here. So there's a few things you've got instant playback, PTZ control, digital zoom, image settings, audio, stop the recording. Some of these are shaded out because these facilities are not actually on these you know, on this camera. So what I'll do is I'll show you this. So instant playback, what that is, is it only plays back the last 10 minutes. It's just a quick, basically just a quick way into to an instant playback. You don't have to go into the menus, go into the camera, select the date, select the time. All you do is just play back the last 10 minutes. So there you have, there you have it there. So that's your 10 minutes worth on the bar here. If you want to skip it, you just keep clicking along. Click pause, click play, and X takes you out as well. So that takes you right back to the live view. PTZ control, if you click on that, this isn't a PTZ camera, but pan, tilt and zoom basically means left, right, up and down. You can zoom it in, zoom it out. That's what it is, it's all controlled up here, so as you see, up, down, left, right, and like I say, you can zoom it in as well, focus in the zoom there. So X when you're finished. Okay. Digital zoom. So you can zoom in on, on basically any camera. You're not actually zooming in lens and you're just zooming in the actual picture. So as you see, this is pretty wide just now, we'll zoom in on the wee car at the front here. So. You can use the roller on your mouse, which I'm doing just now, or on the left hand side at the top, you'll see a wee bar. You can actually click on that. Once, you, once you're zoomed in, if you left click on the picture and drag it, you can move it to where you want it to be. So the wee car will zoom in, so you can actually read the registration on the car there perfectly. So when you're finished with the zoom, what you do is you right click, it takes you back out. Image settings, I've also got that too, so you can change the brightness of the picture to suit yourself. 
I'll just restore that to default because I'm quite happy with how it is. Just remember if you change it to click apply, you can do every camera completely separate. So some could be brighter than others if you feel you need to go down that route. When you're finished, click the X takes you back. You've also got audio. This isn't an audio camera, but if you want to adjust the volume, so it's too loud, switch it off, switch it on, up to you. Stop recording. So at the top right hand corner, you see the red um, film clip there. Click on that. Should stop it. Always goes wrong in the demo. There we go. That's it stopped. If you wanted to record again, start recording. Right, moving on. Uh, playback now. So if you wanted to play back your cameras, go to the top bar. If you're not sure what they are, just put the mouse over it and it'll tell you. So we're just going to use the playback one for now. So click on it, the left side of the mouse again. Your cameras are lifted, listed down the left hand side. This is your month and down the very bottom this is your time. So this is really a full day's worth of recording here. Okay. So let's just say we want to play back the top of the first camera. You can select the cameras individually or you can just select maximum camera which selects them all. But I'll just be doing one camera or two cameras at the moment. So we'll just do, we'll do these two. So tick the boxes of the cameras you want to see and select the day you want to play back. So we'll just say the 9th and it should automatically start playing back anyway. So whatever it's recorded will highlight in blue along the bottom here. So as I say, this is a full day's recording. You can adjust this, which I'll come to you shortly. If you want to view a camera, double click. Double click takes you back. These are just standard night vision cameras. Colour during the day, black and white at night. That's outside, it's, it's pretty dark out there. There's no lights on, it's just all coming off the camera. So double click takes you back again. Now, down the bottom here, there's your wee icons here. You've got pause, backwards, forwards, play it in reverse, pause, rewind, fast forward. It goes up to 128 times speed, so it gets too fast. It's that fast that you completely miss things, but you can do it in different stages. That's the only thing to be aware of. Now say something's happened at 2 o'clock in the morning, what you can do is you can just click on the bar and drag it along to 2. But say something's happened at 10 past 2, that could be quite difficult to get to 10 past 2 because it's 2 o'clock then 4 o'clock. So this is where the wee radio dots come in, you can actually adjust these so we'll knock them down halfway. So that's only a 4 hour bar now, so see it's 2 o'clock then you've got half past 2. You can bring it down even further, right down to five minutes. So that's much easier to drag it along to where you want it to be. I'll just bring it along here. You get the idea anyway. But, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Now, when you're finished, you've seen enough. What you can do is you can just go up to the top left hand corner, see it says live view. And you just click on it. If you're completely finished with it altogether, you can just right click your mouse or bring it back up to the full screen. Or if you want to log out completely, you can just log out here. Log out, I'll say yes. So that's it. So now when you completely log out, you need to use your password again or pattern to get back into the machine. So I'm going to show you that again anyway. So this time what we'll do, if I don't want to show you something else in the playback, I'll, I'll do that now while, while I remember. So we'll log into the machine, so we right click it, it'll ask for the pattern, so we draw it, let it go, and playback, I'll just use the last 10 minutes, the, the instant playback for this video. Um, in fact, that's a bad example. We'll just forget that just now, sorry. Uh, we'll have to do it the proper way. So we'll play back. Pick your camera. Use that one. And where are we now? There we go. 
So when you're playing it back, you still get the zoom facility on the on the playback as well, so you can roll it in, drag it, move it around to suit yourself. That's what I forgot to say. So right click takes you out when you're finished. So back to live view. So what we'll do now is we'll show you how to back it up. So if something's happened and you need to back up the information for any reason, what you'll need is you'll need a USB stick. On the front of your, your DVR recorder, you'll see a, a USB port. Stick your USB stick in there to start with. What you want to do then is go to playback. Pick a camera you want to download. So let's just say, I'll just use that one. Pick the date you want to download, so we'll just go back to the 3rd of May. And we've got our wee, we're only on the 5 minutes there. So what we'll do is down, say the incident's now happening. You want, there's somebody breaking into the building there. What you want to do is, there's a wee pair of scissors here, and it says clip. You click on that. Now what you'll see is you'll see some brackets suddenly appear, which you can adjust yourself. So see how it says midnight. And maybe what you want to do is download the information. I'll just bring it further along just so we get a, a decent clip to download. So the time of the download is going to be here. So it's 23.58 and the incident was over at just after midnight. So what you then do is go down to the bottom left and you'll see export clip. So you click on that. Do you want to export the video in the log? So we will say OK. Now, if you have anything on your USB stick, it will be shown in here. So if you want to, to get rid of that, what you actually do is you just click Format and just follow it. Follow what it says there. So you just click OK and it will basically just wipe the USB stick for you. If you don't want to, if you want to keep the information on your USB stick and add the CCTV evidence, don't do this bit. There we go. So we're now ready. Our USB stick is shown here at the top. We've got an empty, an empty USB stick. So all we do is click OK. Now up the top right hand corner you see a wee bell. Well not a bell but it's a, it's a backup icon. It's already done one of the cameras or one of the files and that's the other file in as well. So that's the download complete. When you're finished Go up to the top left, you've got Live View, just click on that, and if you're completely finished, go up to the top right hand corner, and it says Power Off, click on it, and log out. Now your evidence is on the USB stick, it's just a case of removing it from the machine and handing it to the, the relevant person. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, if you don't log out the machine, It'll automatically log itself out anyway after 30 minutes. That tends to be how we set them up. So if you don't want to log out, it will do it itself at one point. So that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. And uh, we'll, I'll have more videos coming up with some more advanced features later on. But that should get you by for now. Thanks for watching.